Hi friends, hope you all are fine. This is Stuti's Cuisine and I'm Sophie again, come with a recipe with potatoes. So it's potato masala, or you can call it potato bhaji, or you can call it also potato puri masala. So it's usually had with puris. So that's why it's called potato puri masala. Okay, or bhaji. Bhaji is a vegetable which we eat with any accompaniments. So, hope you all are fine. Thank you very much for you all supporters who have been supporting me. And please continue doing it. So, we'll go step by step how we do it. And also, I have already done it. And here it is. It's so tasty. I just tasted it and it's really wonderful okay so you all please try it make it and let me know how it's come out okay thank you and you all have a wonderful day the ingredients for potato bhaji potato masala or it's also called potato puri masala because it's always had with puris or chapatis. So potatoes for medium to large, one and a half large red onions, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of ginger that is sliced and crushed, half a teaspoon of chopped garlic, four tablespoons of puffed chickpeas, two to three sprigs of curry leaves, four dry red chilies, five to six medium-sized green chilies, one eight to half teaspoon of turmeric, one eighth teaspoon of asafoetida, half a bunch of coriander leaves which are chopped, oil around three to five tablespoons. So let's go to the other side and see how we make it. I've kept a pan on fire. I've put around three tablespoons of oil and it's nice and hot. I'm going to crackle the mustard seeds. I've got these potatoes, so I'm going to mash them up a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit, okay? You can either take a spoon or anything and mash it or a fork. You can even cut it into small pieces. Mustard has started cracking and you just close it so that it doesn't spread everywhere. Okay, here you go. Putting it on low fire. I did not mention cumin, so I'm going to put half a teaspoon of cumin going to put one tablespoon of puffed gram and the rest I'm going to grind it and come. Okay, ginger garlic, onions, even if you take two onions it's always tastier. So in this potato masala, if you put onions, it's going to be tasty. So I put one and a half onions which are sliced. You can put more around two also. Then high medium. And we will just saute it till it's nice and translucent. Okay, so here it's nice and translucent. Now I'm going to put my red chilies, the dry one. I'll just put break two and put one as whole. Okay, so that's put it on high medium and let it roast. Okay, I'm going to put the green chilies. I've chopped a few and sliced uh, the rest. High medium. Let's 
put some salt, or maybe one teaspoon now. Curry leaves. Putting the stems of the coriander leaves. They are tender stems. They're tender, you can put it, otherwise, don't put it. Turmeric powder. Okay, put it on low medium. Put some asafoetida. Okay, it's good for the stomach problems, it will get rid of it. And it has got a nice flavor too. I have mashed the potatoes, don't mash it too much, just a little bit. You need to see the potatoes, okay? So uh, there's no hard and fast rules, you can just mash it as you want. Put it inside the mixture and mix it all up. I'm going to put a cup of water. Always use boiled water when you've started cooking, okay? Wow, nice smell. Just mix it all together so that everything is combined. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, the puffed gram is powdered, so I'm going to just put some water in it and make it into a paste or liquid. Just mix it. And you can pour it in this. You can also use uh, basin flour or chenna uh, gram flour. But I basically I think this puffed gram is taste much better. Okay, I put some more water. wash it. Put some coriander leaves. So let this, you know, simmer for five minutes. Everything is cooked here, but we want it to get combined well and, you know, get it mixed and all the spices to get caught in the potato. I'll just taste and see salt okay I just put one and a half teaspoons because salt was lacking put it on high fire now oh it's so tasty so we'll just wait for it to reduce a little bit it depends on how you want it if you want it a little more watery you can put some more water and let it boil if you want it less you can just evaporate a little bit so when you're having it with uh, puris or chapatis you want a little liquid form so that you can have it with the chapatis or puris right so you need some of it but if you're making it for something else like say as a bhaji dry bhaji then you should there's no need of putting so much water it should be dry okay i'm going to close it and keep it closed for five minutes and i'll be back okay let me open there we go Let me just taste and see again. Perfect. I'm going to close it and keep it for another five minutes. Low flame. Yeah. And see, it's so good. So, this is my potato puri bhaji or potato masala you can have it with anything okay so i'm going to dish it out and i'll be back
I'm going to have puri with a little bhaji or potato masala and I'm going to tell you how it is, okay? It looks so good. Yeah. Okay. It's so good. It's one of a very common dishes we all make in India. It's very common in Maharashtra. And even when you go for a restaurant, you order for puri bhaji, which, which is a very common uh, dish, a common man's food, mm. and which is, you know, loved by all. So go ahead and make it. I just love it, okay? You have a nice day.